Hello folks and welcome back for another Thai cooking by the one and only wife, my Thai wife. Um, tonight's menu is something I don't think I've actually tried before, which is surprising because there ain't too many dishes out here that I haven't tried. It is pork and chicken, pineapple curry, and we have shrimp paste and curry paste and coconut sugar there and a little pinch of salt and as we go over here we are just the uh, coconut milk is just uh, and of course we cannot forget them good old lime leaves to bring out the flavor and everything I honestly have to say I'm very excited for this because pineapple is in included and it's not just chicken curry, it's chicken and pork curry. So, the wife she is now just making this shot or sauce or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. And the nursery rhymes you hear in the background are not for me, although I do enjoy them. Very spicy. Oh, and I've just been informed that this dish is very spicy. Shock, shock, horror. Oh no. As long as there's toilet roll, darling, that's okay. <laughs> and coconut milk is definitely bubbling. So there we go, that's your paste. In there. You can see that the wife has done this before. And as you can see, everything's coming nicely together. And I would imagine the meats will be added first. I don't know, I don't know. This is all new to me, but I cannot wait to try, but there goes the meat. Oh, and there goes me. Pushing the joystick of the gimbal in the wrong direction. On like at home, we usually cook the meat separately, but Thailand, they cook the meat like this. And it brings out more flavors, I think. But what would I know? I'm not a cook, I just eat it. And if you were to see my belly, you would know I eat a lot. It's absolutely narrow and mark, as I would say, in Thailand. Very delicious. Now the pineapple is being added. If you do enjoy these cooking videos, you know, leave a comment below. We very much appreciate it. I will reply to the comment. Even if it's cheeky, I don't care. Okay. okay, so we just basically wait for this to boil, the, the meat to cook, and then the next step, which I don't know, but you can see we're uh, bubbling away. Um, it took maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes to bring everything to a boil and now we're just having it summer just so the meat can get fully cooked but I have to say the smell is starting to come out uh, looking forward to trying some separat or sorry pineapple and now we add some squeeze squeeze of lime and the lime leaves. Okay. Uh, very thumb heavy on the joystick there. Are you trying now? Okay. I'm going to try a little taste. Mm. 
to have something like a curry and spicy taste to it. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Okay. And as I'm sure you know, if you cook meat, the longer you leave it on here, the softer the meat will become. Um, but I think we're just going to let it go for another few minutes and then eat. Do what I seem to do best these days. And the reason I haven't been outside, folks, is because uh, that darn old pesky virus is uh, apparently very bad in this area, and we have to protect this wee man here. So uh, that's the reason why I have not got outside, and I just woke the baby. Okay, folks. Uh, this is what it looks like. Pretty good, darn tasty. With uh, <laughs> the wife said the comparison of mangoes, standard size mango, and one that's on steroids. Super bag, but I'm just super excited to get trying this here. And yep, let's dig in. Okay, here goes. Definitely smells absolutely gorgeous. And for an area that's actually very bad with COVID, I'm sure you can hear the people outside um, having some beverages in a wee kili, as they call them. Um, Shindag, apparently, whatever you want to call it. Definitely different now with the pineapple. Oh, spicy pineapple. Never thought I was here today. Artista. Mm. Oh, hi. Very, very different. Very, very nice. I'll tell you what, my wife will fair cook. I have the jackpot. Mm. What can I say? Apart from I'm going to push the stop button and get this on me. 10 out of 10 again. Got to be the